Well, this is about as good as I'm going to get with this um, large scroll little motor project. And uh, this is running on a 1 farad 5.5 volt supercapacitor. And that's the little motor going around. And uh, I've just got an LED to show that it's running. That's the um, flyback from the motor re entering the circuit. It's a reed switch with a little bias magnet right there to cause the reed switch to only open on one polarity of the rotor. And uh, anyway, I worked for a week or so on this project, and it's not going to ever happen the way that he showed it, the way that I have set this up, but it does run. And I just wanted to make a little documentation of uh, this little motor running. Now, the motors um, come out of LED faucet lights, and uh, they're extremely hard to get apart. And this was the only one I was successful getting apart. And they look like this. And there are these LED faucet lights that as the water goes through that um, device, it spins up the generator and makes an LED light go. And that's the, uh, the whole unit right there. And the water turns that turbine and lights up the LED. And there's a little circuit board inside there that causes that LED to change colors, uh, depending on which one you get. And that's the the generator or the motor. And this is one that I was not successful getting apart and uh, ruined the motor basically. It was encased in epoxy completely. But uh, the little uh, rotor still worked. So I was able to use it uh, testing and stuff. But uh, there's different types and some of them are easier to get apart than others. And this was the only one that I was successful getting apart <coughs> without destroying it. And this one had the two little wires on the back of it that uh, allowed me to really complete the project. But um, it's rather efficient. It runs about 2 milliamps, the way I've got this set up. You can uh, drop it down to less than a milliamp. Um, really nothing to write home about. It's just a reed switch pulse motor. And I don't know how he ever got that to do what he showed it to do. Uh, because the way the circuit diagram was set up, when you disconnect the circuit, his motor kept running. And he said it freewheeled, and mine doesn't freewheel at all. It just stops. But I wanted to show a couple of things here. Let me take the power source off here. Yeah, this was this um, one farad 5.5 volt super cap. I used a 9 volt battery to put some juice in it. And there's the unit with nothing on it. There's no power source here. But watch when I blow on it with a straw how the generator works here. And that's the, uh, I'll try it one more time here. And that's the generator causing the LED to go because it's generating electricity. There's another way to do it, and that's with this device here, which is a, uh, another pulse motor, similar pulse motor. And you can see how this is arranged with a ring magnet in the middle between a, a coil, basically. This is in a series thing. And I think that's how this is set up. It's a ring magnet inside of a coil. And uh, as I start this up, you'll see how this one runs. And this is a similar idea here. But it will remotely gear this. Let me put this up against here. And I'll start this again. And there's this running remotely geared by that. And I hope this is not how he did this. I hope he didn't do something like this to show this running on its own. That uh, this is an example of how that thing will do that. By having another power source running, uh, it will run that. Anyway, that's the little uh, project that, uh, like I say, I, I had a lot of fun doing it. It was just not what I uh, had hoped for. And um, sometimes these little projects don't end up the way you want them to, but they still work. And uh, I did enjoy doing this. Uh, this was uh, one of these projects that didn't turn out exactly like I'd hoped, 
but uh, it did work the way I wanted it to, but not the way I'd hoped. <laughs> Thanks for watching.